thing. So Assange, essentially, Assange as the person is part of a group of people that is frequent now in, in, in the whole of society. There's things like grain or there's things, there's these sort of watch groups, you know, both on the left and the right and all that sort of thing that, that act as watchdogs for specific things. And Nosy the, people. The, yeah. And the, the, WikiLeaks, the WikiLeaks platform has been amazing. And so going back to the News Hub article, if you get three quarters of the way down and it's starting to document, missed out the fact that Assange was actually made Journalist of the Year. Mm. And that was because of several things that WikiLeaks um, put up, which was the Reuters um, uh, reporters being gunned down by a Black Hawk helicopter Mm. And he released the footage that of course, that, yeah. that of of those reporters. They knew that they were reporters. They knew that they 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 were you know that you, you can't. This is a war crime. So he's showing a war crime, and yeah. um, well, the platformers, right? And you know, consequently to all of all of this, you know, America has made a real meal of this. Um, they've they've um, completely tried to obliterate Chelsea Manning, um, and you know all the way through this hearing, you know no reference of this in the article at News Hub. That mm. all the way through that hearing, they were doing everything to torture Assange um, and Chelsea Manning to get Chelsea Manning to testify against Assange. And, and and she would not, mm. she would not relent, and and so you know this is an immense immense story of bravery and determination, and mm. the UN rapporteur has been in, and this is a guy that goes you know into Afghanistan and 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 into these into these sort of um, Guantanamo Bay and all those. And, and looks at these people and, and assesses them for torture. And he's assessed Assange as being tortured whilst in the the prison of Her Majesty the Queen in Balmoral. And that should be an absolute embarrassment to the to the British establishment. And it's not. And instead, what we had was this judge who is in a compromising position because there is WikiLeaks about about her own past and her, her family that are embarrassing. Mm. And she agrees with everything, supposedly, that the Americans, whom I don't know how an Amer Americans can then preside in a British court, but they have. Uh, um, yeah, it, just somehow. That, that, that is <laughs> ridiculous. It's it not is. an international court, it's a domestic court. Mm. But anyway, so... She agrees with everything and has 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 but has not has not um, agreed to extradite Assange on the on the basis that um, over his mental would, health of, and of his of his hmm. of his mental health and yeah. but News Hub couldn't say that's that's you know part of that in the subtext of what they wrote is yeah. that the UN rapporteur of torture on torture has actually said that he is one of the most tortured people. That he has come across. Yeah, and, and do do you it, think the judge made a good decision on that one? No, I think the judge no. made a political decision. A political I think the decision. Judge, yeah. I think I think the judge is, is has has um she has she has positioned herself to allow for the Americans to appeal the decision, and right. and and that's disgusting, but the. The important thing here is is that we don't have to get this wrong. We, we've, like, our, our journalists here, like, did we just establish in that story that we do not have free press? You know, and, yeah. and I think that we did. I think that to there was one particular big long paragraph about sex crimes that um, Julian Assange had committed in Sweden, which is total fake news. 
because of course, yeah, not of only course. was he not convicted of a, of a sex crime, there is no victim. Yeah. There is there is the prosecution withdrew the case. The prosecution led the case. The victims never led the case, and so and it was all just a farce as yeah. a pretext to get him out of the Ecuadorian embassy. That's right. And and he they made out in the article that he was in jail for a sex crime. He was in jail for supposedly mm. skipping bail. But the hmm. ridiculous thing about this whole skipping bail thing is he actually, before he left Sweden, he spoke to the very prosecutor and asked if he was free to leave, and of which he was told he was. Hmm. So, And he's always offered, whilst in the Ecuadorian embassy, where, where he sought asylum, he offered um, to, to talk to the, you know, to, to do everything but leave that embassy because... Obviously, he didn't think he was safe. They've just proved it. <laughs> they've just proved that he. They just proved with the decision that they've just made that he was not safe. That's like, right. He the wasn't. The only reason no. why this is the irony is the only reason why he is um, not being extradited is because the free press isn't free and has not written any stories about it, and they can write this sort of middle ground that, oh, well, you know, we, we, we really care about mental health, so this is the reason why we're, we're going to keep, like, I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to keep him for 23 and a half hours in solitary now for the rest of his life, like they have done for the last 50 weeks. Maybe they are.